Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Today we are going to look at the rarest of breed, the game design tool. These actually almost don't exist. There's almost nothing out there purpose-built for game designing. People use general tools like, you know, Vizio or Project or various different mind mapping solutions out there for designing or laying out their game flow. But there's not a lot of dedicated tools to designer. One of the only ones I can think of is Artisy Draft. Well, today we're going to look at a second one. And the name is Machinations. I believe that's how you say that word. It's a word that I read all the time, but I never actually say it out loud. So I'm going to call it Machinations the entire time that we're doing this video. Your mileage may vary, but it's available at machinations.io. So yes, this is a cloud-based or a browser-based application, but in this particular case, it actually kind of makes a whole lot of sense. Now, how much does this cost? Well, for now, it's actually free. We'll get back to that in a few minutes, but first we're going to actually demonstrate what it's all about. And on the surface, you can see it is basically a logic or flow charting based application for designing game workflows. So here you can see a crossroads traffic simulator, uh, diff two different workflows that came in here, various different logics and functions that are operating on them as they flow through the system. And you can just go ahead and run it and it will simulate it using your logic. So you can see the queues as they're forming up, the additional queues, and the logic goes through it. You can also see an execution chart for both of your inputs. So road traffic and B road traffic a and B road traffic are both showing how they are processing through the systems. And you see we've got these various different nodes that you can put in to handle things. So let me just pause this for a second and I'll show you one of these things. So here you got your input and you got your various different things that can come in and the logic that controls it. Then for example, we have this queue here. We've got different activations so we can have it as passive, interactive, automatic, or on start, and then you've got various different actions that can that can pull in there. So this one is basically just queuing up cars as they come through. And then we got functional nodes like this one. So you can see it's the, the label is even dynamically calculated using their kind of scripting language here. Uh, the various different ranges and limits in it. You can also have uh, dice rolls or, or calculations that way, uh, logic based. So these formulas kind of all work together to calculate how things will flow through the system. And then you can build like here is a switching system for the different light states as it goes and we got the flow that goes in between them and you can save and build out these blocks as you're going so we've got like this countdown timer block built up over here where they've got all these basic different building blocks that you can use so here for example if i needed a 60 second counter i just bring it drop it in my scene and there is a 60 second counter so after 60 seconds it will trigger off something to do and out you go you can also design your own using these various different nodes so we've got the source drain pool gate delay the register function, um, converter, trader, end condition, and then the connectors, um, and then text labels as they go through. You can use all those things together and you can save them as you create them into your own library of events. So if you build up your own, you know, uh, I don't know, AI logic for hunting or whatever. You could call this hunting logic and then save it over there. And then you can do AI floats and simulations all directly from uh, machinations. And if you're kind of a little overwhelmed by what you can see in front of you, don't be too, too worried. First off, there is help available and it is pretty solid for the most part. So if you need to document or figure out how everything works here, for one, there is a beginner's guide, but two, everything is actually documented. And perhaps even nicer, we've got, if you come up here, you go to file, uh, you can do either new from template like this and you'll see it brings it right here and then you've got a number of different templates for uh, games. So we've got like a gotcha logic thing. We've got a free to play mobile battle-esque full meta economy, uh, different economy simulations, uh, progression in a game. Uh, so they've done a lot of examples to give you an idea of how you could use this in your own system. So if you wanted to have your own uh, free to play monetization simulation, you know, about how uh, things will go, the odds of it happening, the way that the, the purchase flow comes out and so on. And then you can go ahead and run their logic here. And then once again, you can check out the charts to see what uh, the flow is looking like in the end. Now, I don't think there's I don't think there's anything to actually chart in this particular case, but you can actually see, and this will simulate an economy as an example. You could also do gameplay logic. So if you wanted to um, create some kind of a logic that works for how uh, enemies would respond within your world, you could do that and then see how that logic would all simulate out. And again, you've got things like dice pools, skills, multiplayer strategy, those kind of things that you can put into the functioning. Again, everything here is ultimately documented. Now, one of the things I didn't directly get from this, but when you look at 
with their marketing materials is they kind of show how it can link directly into your game. And I don't see that functionality right now. I see this as a pure design tool with no next level connectivity, but I imagine that is something they are ultimately working on here. So you may be wondering, okay, so how much does this cost? How does this work? Well, for right now, it is actually in uh, open beta at this stage in time. To log in, you basically just go to um, machinations.io and then click the uh, either sign in or join beta. Both kind of will have the same result. Then you can use your uh, Google login if you wish, or a couple of OAuth providers are available as well, I believe. Or I think you can create a local account and you can sign in that way. Now I am finding if you go to the FAQ or the frequently asked questions, um, it seems to be a little out of date. So for example, when is the open beta coming is uh, previously. So as for beta, that's a little bit more difficult to tell, but we're planning on second half of 2019. Uh, I joined it. There's no closed beta thing going on. This date seems to have come and gone. They just haven't updated their documentation yet. And the ultimate question is, what does all this cost? Well, during the beta, it costs absolutely nothing. The future revenue model is being worked on. Uh, our goal is to have a basic free premium, uh, free forever tier and machinations now lives in the cloud and all simulations happen on our servers. Whenever you do a simulation run, quick run or multiple runs, all the math and processing load is handled by our AWS infrastructure. That load is quantified as simulation credits, a unit of measuring CPU cycles per diagram complexity and stochastics coefficient. We will do our best to include a generous monthly allowance of simulation credits in the free tier. Um, however, all costs succeeding will be kind of billed on a pay as you go or whatever, whatever kind of model. That seems pretty fair. So basically, as you put more and more load on their servers, you're going to have to pay based off the amount of work you do. Seems like a reasonable pricing model on top. Now, again, if I do watch their videos, I see this integration into games. Maybe that'll be covered in the roadmap here. Um, but I don't really know the importer exporter. This is the part that I, I don't see. I don't know how you're going to get from a direct link from machinations to your game, which they really showed in their one video that doesn't seem to be there yet, but just even as a straight up, uh, flow chart logic kind of simulator uh, system, there is already value in what they have here. And like I said, there are a number of different templates that you can kind of, uh, check out the kind of way that they have their workflow going, some of the logic or calculations that they've done along the way, um, and some of the simulations of what they're suggesting to use it for, and maybe you can find a way to use it in your own world. Now, if you're simulating you know, complex systems like a digital economy, this may be a valuable tool to you. If you're creating a simple platformer, and it probably is completely useless to you. But again, I decided to definitely showcase this because there really is nothing like this. Now there are, um, again, simulation tools out there. You have tools like Visio for flow charting logic, and then you have mind mapping software, and then you have some mind mapping software that can do these simulations, but you've got nothing out there that is sort of catered towards game development. At least not that I know of. If there is another design tool out there that you would recommend checking out, please do let me know in the comments down below. But today we have the, uh, currently in beta, but seemingly open, not closed beta, Machinations available at machinations.io. Again, the link will have all the appropriate links down below if you are interested in checking this out. Let me know what you think. And also, are you doing this kind of stuff yourself already? Do you have just like elaborate spreadsheets or anything like that for doing game simulations? Or do you just basically do your tweaking directly in game engine? Or is it just absolutely no use to you whatsoever? Anyway, interested in hearing what you're thinking, what your take is, and the fact that this is browser-based is, is, to me, it makes sense that this will be in a browser, uh, but I know a lot, there's a lot of people out there that are absolutely like dead set against browser-based software. I'm not one of them, so it doesn't bother me either way. And again, this one, all the logic and simulations are actually being run on their server, so I can understand why that is a requirement, but I'm curious to hear the browser haters out there, what you think of this as a browser-based tool. And that's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.